Are you stressed out, working flat out? Then this is the programme that will help you become fit to teach. Hi, I'm Irene Lindsay and I'm an NQT at Sacred Heart School um, teaching Year 6. I've obviously come to teaching quite late. I've got a family and four children and um, I thought that might have prepared me for this year but I'm finding I'm just exhausted all the time. So I'm hoping that perhaps by making myself a bit fitter, the rest will become easier as well. Hi, I'm Ross Higgins. I'm 28 years of age. I'm a year three teacher at Cedars First School in Harrow Wheelstone. It's my uh, first year. It's been a very busy year. As a result of that, I've been eating too many sugary snacks, drinking too much caffeine, not enough water. And at weekends, I've been drinking way too much alcohol. To help these two, we've got just the experts. To stop Ross overdosing on caffeine, meet our resident nutritional guru, Egon. And to help Irene get some oxygen pumping, meet our super fit trainer, Danny. Right, Irene, I just uh, hear that you've just started a new teaching mm -hmm. job. I'd like you to tell me just a little bit more about how you are with your, your health and fitness at this particular point in time. Well, um, not enough hours in the day, I'm afraid. I tend to get into school very early and get home too late right. to want to change. I'd like to be fitter because I think that would give me more energy, but it's a vicious circle. I don't do any and so I don't do any. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And when you start doing it, it then starts to snowball and you start feeling a little bit better about yeah. it and the other yeah. aspects of your life start to fall into place yeah. as well. You scared me when I had a look at your uh, uh, your notes and the forms that you filled out for me and I've got to be honest with you like I said to you I don't know how you survived yeah Monday to Thursday I kind of think I look after my body you know I go to the gym I try and eat the right amounts of food I drink you know water but come Friday and Saturday you know they're my two they're my two uh, two nights to uh, de-stress mm -hmm. as it were so therefore the way I would de-stress maybe stayed in but usually it would mean me going out and drinking alcohol have a few beers a few beers a few beers, meaning probably roughly around, probably on a good night, maybe about 10, 10 pints, 10 drinks. 10 pints in a single night. You've got to be a demon, literally, to be able to hold that sort of drink. People think of it as de-stressing, but maybe start looking at it in a slightly different way, that you're actually adding more stress. What I'll get you to do is just pop down onto your back on the floor. OK. So if you head up that end, that's mm -hmm. fine. Just let your hands relax. It's not going to, to hurt in any way. So. Breakfast, do you tend to skip uh, a breakfast or would you sort of like have a good breakfast before you leave? I force myself in the morning to have a breakfast. Um, some mornings, you know, my stomach takes a while to wake up, but yeah. I do, uh, I tend to have porridge every morning. We're just going to slowly extend the leg upwards. Okay, there's always some lovely crick, noises crick, crick. there. <laughs> Obviously there's a little bit of tightness that's come mm -hmm. on in the back of the legs. Yeah. Basically you're looking at a little bit of work needing to yeah. be done on the hamstring. When you're at school, what's the situation there? Usually you get lots of parents or bring in food for the children's birthdays and usually some, you know, staff birthdays. Mm -hmm. When you do see some chocolate, you, are, you just want that quick fix. Yeah. Because you haven't got time to kind of uh, get something or prepare mm -hmm. something. And just squat down. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. From that, I can see that there's yeah. some other tightnesses that are coming into your body. Right. Your knees are just dropping in a little bit. Yeah. Your foot is pronating quite a bit. I can feel that here. there, yes. Exactly. Yeah. Which will then cause problems in this knee, but also possibly in this one because it's actually pulling your hips out. Everything that you've just told me mm. has been some sort of processed or refined mm. food. Um, so all the time you are in this overload, as it were, of stress. Okay, so if you have a chance to be able to deviate on your way home from school mm -hmm. through a park, okay. grab some air, grab, get away from the roads, find yourself some open space to be able to take some time out, find a park bench which mm. will go and show you some stretches on. But essentially you just want to get a good natural rhythm in your walk, get breathing, get your arms moving, keep yourself warm. Mm. So make sure you do rug up nicely before you leave the house or you mm -hmm. leave school. That way by the time you get home, you've got enough temperature in your body to then start to exercise without having to then warm up again once you get home. Right. Now, if you're carrying anything, make sure you're carrying a backpack rather than a satchel. Oh, okay. Right. Uh, and then you can balance yourself a little bit better. Yeah. When you're walking, you should walk with your eyes slightly above the horizon. So keep your peripheral vision looking you know, down just to see that you're not going to fall in a hole or off yeah. a curb or something. But as, as part of your postural concerns, you should keep your eyes yeah, right. upright. Have breakfast like a king. 
lunch like a queen and dinner like a pauper. So it's, it's a total switch round to your day. So you, you're trying to get your biggest meal first thing in, in the morning. That way you then get a better balance and a better energy um, transition all the way through the day. So I don't want you to get into a stage where you're that hungry or your sugar levels are so up and down that you end up, when you get to the tuck shop, you see a piece of food and you're like that. You're willing, you're willing to yeah. fight someone over it to put some rubbish back into your body. Yeah. Now we've come to a bench. So these are quite handy to have. They don't think of them as seats anymore. They're now your stretching device. <laughs> so things like, a bench, blocks of stairs, a low wall, any of right. that sort of oh, thing. Right. What we'll do is just a basic hamstring stretch. So mm -hmm. if you stand facing the bench, mm -hmm. both toes pointing forwards, mm -hmm. and just want you to lift one leg up, slightly bent in the knee, and just reach forward. And that should be enough just to give that a little stretch. And if you yeah. need to, you can just go straight into it. Okay, and then do the other leg. Keep your eyes and your chest up. Try not to let your head drop down into it and collapse. Yeah. That's one that you can do. Another one, if you want to hold on to the, come to the edge of the bench, mm -hmm. or if you've got good balance, you can just stand up and just hold the back of your foot. So okay. if I, that's it. Probably not now. That's it. it. So you just want to keep your hips tucked under slightly, your shoulder yeah. back, yeah, your you belly button like drawn in. Yeah. Exactly, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, now we've just warmed the muscles up a little mm -hmm. bit by walking, we've stretched them, we've got ourselves yeah. ready to now stride out a little bit, continue on our way, and right. then we'll go back to the house, okay? What I find is that one of the main problems a lot of people have uh, is planning. So if you can find out, for example, markets like this, when they're on, if you can find a way of putting it into your sort of schedule, because this is the way you can get the, the freshest sort of fruit and veg mm. and meat that you possibly can. So for something like uh, here at this market, you've got quite a lot of variety. And for me, more than anything, people just aren't having variety, uh, not only in their fruit and veg, but in their everyday eating. So I'd be saying to you, right, how do I want to do it? I'd like to have some uh, stuff in the morning before I leave and maybe mix myself up uh, a fruit salad yeah. that I can have, just put it in a tub, and have it with me uh, during the day. And one of the best ways to think of is think of a rainbow. Yep, so you get as many different colours in there okay. as you possibly yeah. can. What we're going to do now is just show you a couple of exercises that you can do with the tubing. Right. There's various different strengths of this and there's different ways that it comes. There's mm -hmm. wide ones and thin ones. Okay. You can use the branches of a nice strong tree. Mm -hmm. What you're going to do is just drop yourself back down into this position here and just squeeze in your back muscles at the back. Okay. okay. Just keep yourself nice and straight, eyes up, and legs slightly bent. Okay, okay. do you want to have a go at yeah. that? Okay, so okay. So down. Take your feet a little bit further apart. Okay. That's it. That Draw your belly up. button in, yeah, drop down, and now pull with your arms oh, yeah. in. Oh, there yes, you it's go. Quite a elastic. Now, try not to let it pull you back into so the tree. You're <laughs> yeah, it that's both it, times. so you're controlling oh, yeah, it's quite the concentric your... and the eccentric part yeah. of the action. You want to do about 15 of those, right. and you might then do another exercise and then come back and do another set of 15. Okay. What would you normally go for? I would usually go for the pear, the banana, and the orange. Right. Maybe my three, okay. three main pieces of fruit. So, what I'd say to you is let's not go for them as such. Let's go for stuff that you wouldn't normally have, so you're getting that variety in there. Okay. Uh, go for some plums, mango, mango definitely. Yeah. Some, uh, Squeeze lime. Some limes, yeah. yeah, just a couple of them. Good. This time I want you to add a little squat to it at the same time. Okay, make sure your knees are not drifting out to the side. Now, now you're starting to get to the point yeah. where your body is getting warmed up because Worked you're using up, yeah. multiple muscle right. groups. Have a look, make sure they're the good oh. stuff. Okay, yeah, that one is. The better variety you've got, the more options you've got. You don't then have to worry about tuck shopping those yeah, back at yeah. school. Belly button in, up nice and tall, yeah. and knees slightly bent. Okay. Keep your hands level. Yep. Just turn your hands over the top. That, that's oh, it, good. Right. Okay. okay. But not out to the side, hard, just to the front. <laughs> <laughs> that's your bicep. <laughs> right, I haven't got any biceps. There you go. Yeah. Uh, mix them all together, you'll juice it all up. Yeah. And it's a good, easy way first thing in the morning to get a nice shot of nearly all the, you know, your daily recommended amount of uh, yeah. fruit and veg. Okay, this is the fun bit. This is where we get to a little <laughs> bit of relaxation. Okay. All right. 
This is a six inch foam roller. It's quite dense. There is actually a four inch one as well. So I'm going to get you to lie down with your bottom at this end uh -huh. and your head at this end and your spine nice and straight along and your head just comes a little bit further down so your head's on top. That's yep. lovely. What I want you to do is take three or four nice big deep breaths in through your nose into your diaphragm. A lot of us tend to become very chesty in our breathing mm. because we're, we're getting stressed and we start to breathe through Absolutely, our mouth. So yes. you want to breathe through your nose, relax. Now, under your spine here, I'm just going to pop my hand level with your belly button. Mm -hmm. I want you to just tilt the pelvis back. So you're squashing my hand a little. Mm -hmm. There you go, good. You've activated those abdominal muscles. Now, alternate, just lifting one leg at a time. Just bend it up to, that's it, good. But keep that pressure on my hand. Excellent. Breathe out as you lift. Keep those muscles pulled in. Excellent. So you want to do, starting off with about 10 of these and build up to about right. 20. Ross, about how much water would you have during the day? About by a bottle of water, about one and a half litres. If I do, if I go to the gym in the evenings, I'll have another one and a half, so about three litres if I'm doing exercise. Teas and coffees, what sort of combination might you have? Yeah, I'll have a, sometimes a coffee in the morning, you know, on the way to school sometimes, yeah. maybe a tea at break time or, you know, one of the break times. Fizzy drinks, would you have any fizzy drinks during the day? Mm, yeah, sometimes I'll have some fizzy drinks, yeah. yeah. If, I've had a, if I need to get my sugar levels up, I'll have a, a okay. fizzy drink, yeah. There'll be probably anything in around 10 plus spoons of sugar in one can. Yeah. Plus your two that you've had from your tea, plus, you see, yeah. the body can only deal with so much sugar at any one time to keep it in a nice mm. sort of balance. And you're looking at about three teaspoons. Uh, anything over that, and your body starts going into immune suppression, that immune suppression is really gonna start affecting you for, let's say, colds, as an example. Mm. Illnesses that are going round, some people won't get it, some people will get it. Why am I getting it and someone else isn't? So start your day off with, you know, you're drinking plenty mm. of water, but maybe start your day off with the water instead of the coffee okay. or yeah. the tea. Now, just to get that relaxation effect in your back, what I'd like you to do is just gently roll off the side of the roller onto the floor. And it is a bit of a drop, so just go gently mm -hmm. and lie on your back flat on the floor and just focus how your back feels, mm -hmm. almost like yes. it's just oh, yes. sinking it does, into it? the yeah, ground. It's very nice. It's, it's nice just to yes. allow those yes. big muscles down the side of your spine just yes. to be told Absolutely. to shut off yeah, and not work. That. Use that, take a couple of deep breaths, just try and feel your energy just running around your body a little bit. Bit of relaxation breathing, letting your diaphragm massage those organs in your right. system. Yeah. Okay. This yeah. is just trying to cool down, relax and wind yourself down. Well, that's some pretty good advice, but how have our two NQTs found it after two weeks? I've managed to walk through the park a few evenings, um, which has given me a change of scenery, a breath of fresh air, which has been really nice, actually. I haven't really achieved much with the strength exercises yet, but I have tried a bit of the relaxation before I've started my evening's planning, which has been great, actually. After meeting with Egon, I thought, well, no, I don't think I'll be able to do half of these things that he's recommending. He recommended that I eat a full breakfast at the start of the day, which I found very difficult to do. But after three days, it's finally working. Um, I'm not snacking in between my break times. Uh, I've cut down on caffeine considerably. So uh, I suppose that's a good start. But uh, the alcohol part, well, I'm working on that part. <laughs>